stroke definition a stroke is a consequence of interrupted blood supply to a part of the brain region some strokes are fatal while others cause permanent or temporary disability the longer a stroke remains untreated the greater the chance of stroke related brain damage emergency medical treatment soon after symptoms begin improves the chance of survival and successful rehabilitation types of stroke hemorrhage bleeding stroke smaller arteries branch off the main arteries to take blood to the brain ischemic stroke blood in artery blood leaks out of artery wall which is damaged artery wall right vertebral artery right carotid artery main types of stroke patches of atheroma on lining of artery artery wall blood clot forms on atheroma or artery wall or comes from another part of the body and gets stuck aorta the main artery from the heart signs and symptoms or early detection facial weakness arm weakness and difficulty with speech are the most common symptoms or signs of stroke other signs of stroke may include one or a combination of weakness or numbness or paralysis of the face arm or leg on either or both sides of the body difficulty speaking or understanding dizziness loss of balance or an unexplained fall loss of vision sudden blurring or decreased vision in one or both eyes headache usually severe and abrupt onset or unexplained change in the pattern of headaches difficulty swallowing investigations it is most important to find out what caused the stroke blood tests to check for certain conditions that may have contributed to the stroke such as diabetes or problems with blood clotting chest x-ray this looks for underlying conditions such as heart or chest complaints that may have contributed to the stroke electrocardiogram ecg to look for arrhythmias particularly af ct computed tomography scan ct angiography and contrast enhanced ct scanning may be considered for helping identify patients at risk for hematoma expansion extravasation of contrast within the hematoma indicates high risk magnetic resonance imaging mri scan this gives a greater definition of the soft tissues mri not only provides great structural detail but also can demonstrate early cerebral edema in addition mri has proved to be sensitive for detection of acute intracranial hemorrhage doppler or duplay ultrasound scan this is used to find out whether there has been a narrowing of the blood vessels in the neck the carotid arteries which supply blood to the brain this narrowing can be a cause of stroke echocardiogram or cardiac ultrasound scan this may be used to look for any heart problems that may have contributed to your stroke differential diagnosis ischemic stroke the most frequent stroke mimics include the following seizure 17% systemic infection 17% brain tumor 15% toxic metabolic disorders such as hyponatremia and hypoglycemia 13% positional vertigo 6% conversion disorder hemorrhagic stroke encephalitis headache migraine hypernatremia hyperosmolar hyperglycemic non ketotic coma hypertensive emergencies hypoglycemia 
hyponatremia. Labyrinthesis ossificans. Meningitis. Neoplasms brain. Stroke ischemic. Subarachnoid hemorrhage. Subdural hematoma. Transient ischemic attack. Management. A patient who presents with symptoms of acute stroke should undergo quick general and neurological examination and his or her vital parameters should be immediately stabilized. The patient should be transferred in an ambulance to a nearest treatment facility which has a CT scanner, ICU and neurologist on call. In case the patient presents several hours after onset of symptoms, his or her vital signs should be checked and stabilized. ECG taken to exclude cardiac arrhythmias, acute MI and then referred to a hospital with ICU and preferably CT scanning facility. Antiplatelet or anticoagulant therapy should be started only after excluding hemorrhage stroke. According to AHA or AAN, oral administration of aspirin, initial dose 325 mg, within 24 to 48 hours after stroke onset is recommended for treatment of most patients. Referral Following are absolute indications for transfer to a secondary or tertiary care centre. Patient presenting with progressive symptoms. This may be an indication of a still evolving stroke or presence of increased intracranial pressure. Patient having recurrent or crescendo TIA. A disoriented, drowsy or unresponsive patient. Headache and vomiting in addition to neurological deficits. Patient who is febrile, having BP above 180 mmHg with very high blood sugar levels.